Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Free Flight Friday. In the last Sim Sunday video as part of our Bucket and Spade series, the real Airbus pilot flew a Tullus Airbus A321 in X-Plane 11 from Toronto to Cartagena on the Caribbean Sea coast of Colombia. This of course was the last video published on our YouTube channel. It was part of our Bucket and Spade series and the real Airbus pilot made the flight in that Tullus Airbus A321 in the livery of Air Transat. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I was so blown away by the quality of the out of the box scenery in X Plane in the Cartagena area. So I wanted to make a quick video myself to look at the scenery, or should I say the default stock scenery in prepared 3D of the same area around Cartagena. Of course, I needed no excuse to jump into the Quality Wings 787, my favourite virtual aircraft for prepared 3D version 4.5, and fly a reasonably short flight from here in Mexico City to Cartagena in Colombia. So jumping right into Simbrief, we're going to be starting the journey on runway 05 right here at Mexico City. And I find this airport very interesting because its elevation is more than 7,000 feet above sea level. So I'm intrigued to find out how the 787 from Quality Wings performs at this altitude on departure. And of course, I'll be completing the two and a half to three hour flight across Central America and then the Caribbean Sea to the northern coast of Colombia. Right, let's jump into the cockpit and get this flight to Cartagena underway. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just closed the main cabin door. All personal cellular telephones must be turned off and stowed for the duration of the flight. Flight attendants, prepare doors for departure, cross-check, and verify straps. Aero Mexico 271 Warp Heavy is cleared to Rafael Nunez Airport Mass File. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain flight level 190. Departure frequency is 121.2, one squawk 0171. Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. As I taxi this Aero Mexico 787-8 of Quality Wings to the runway here at Mexico City Airport 05 right, it's time to tell you a little bit about the scenery that I've got installed here and prepared. What you are seeing here at Mexico City is from Taxi to Gate Mexico City and it's actually been produced for FSX and not prepared. During a recent rebuild of my PC and therefore a complete rebuild of prepared 3D, I installed the scenery into prepared with reasonable results I think. Even the jetways are working as part of GSX which is more than can be said for a number of other FSX scenery that I've installed into prepared. Of course when I get down to Cartagena all of the scenery is stock but we'll talk a little bit more about that later in the flight. Mexico Tower Aero Mexico 2714 heavy at runway 5 right ready for departure IFR to Papel Nunez. That's it. 80 knots. Check. Beat 
one. Rotate. B2. Positive brake. Gear up. Despite the altitude of the airport in Mexico City, that departure was actually pretty straightforward. However, the aircraft was pretty light because at the end of the day, we were only flying two and a half to three hours while there would be fuel normally on board on an average 787-8 flight of at least six to eight hours. And that's something worth pointing out because at the beginning of this flight, you would have seen a low fuel warning on the center tank. And that of course was all down to me loading the majority of the fuel required for this flight to both wing tanks rather than the center tank. And as we climb out of Mexico City towards our cruising altitude, which would ultimately be flight level 430 today, or 43,000 feet, I'd be turning off the fuel pumps to the center tank because of course the center tank will be the first tank to run dry. Anyway, as we continue our flight southeast across Central America towards the Caribbean Sea and Cartagena in Colombia, I'm going to stop the video and come back to you once we're into the descent. As we're descending towards the Colombian coastline, it was clear that we were going to be vectored towards runway 01 at Cartagena, which was exactly the same runway that the real Airbus pilot landed on in the last video on his flight down from Toronto in the Tallus Airbus A321, which meant I was going to be able to give you a pretty good opinion. Certainly it's my opinion of the main difference between the scenery that's delivered out of the box from X-Plane and of course here in prepared 3D version 4.5. However, as I made my way towards runway 01 at Cartagena, I was actually wondering if I was in the same place because the scenery in X-Plane looked already very different to what I was getting here in Prepared 3D. Even during the initial approach, I would have said that the X-Plane scenery certainly looked a lot more immersive than here in Prepared. As the city of Cartagena comes into view on final approach to the airport, it is here you can see the real difference between X-Plane and Prepared. In my opinion, the building objects here in P3D just seem to have been randomly scattered, while in X-Plane it seemed to be a much more of an immersive experience as you made the approach to 01 at Cartagena. Approaching minimums, 300 minimums, 200, 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Well folks, welcome to Cartagena in prepared 3D version 4.5 on board the Quality Wings 787-8. And you can see, well, the 
default airport is well, simply non-existent. This scenery is absolutely rubbish and prepared compared to X-Plane. I can see that Ultimate Traffic Live has spawned up an Airbus A320 in the livery of JetBlue, which I believe will soon be asking for pushback and clearance to Fort Lauderdale in Florida. But as you can see, it is just parked there. It's not a terminal building because there simply isn't a terminal building. However, if you go back a video and watch the real Airbus pilots approach into Cartagena, you will see that X-Plane has actually a reasonably decent default airport. So for me, when it comes to default scenery, without a doubt, X-Plane has the edge on prepared. But before you ask, I'll not be making the jump from prepared 3D version 4.5 across to X-Plane 11, simply due to the investment I've already made in add-on aircraft, and especially scenery for here and prepared. But come to think of it, it might be fun for me to try a similar flight into Cartagena in Microsoft Flight Simulator and see what the new kid on the block has to offer. So as I pull up here on the stand to nowhere, it's time to bring another episode of Sim Sunday and Free Flight Friday to an end. And there's really little more that I can add to this video because X-Plane has clearly won when it comes to default scenery in the Cartagena area of Northern Colombia. So until the next video here on Sim Sunday, don't forget, wherever you're flying in your virtual world, don't forget to fly safe.